Okay, today we're going to talk about paths. And the paths tool is right here. This is the paths tool. So we'll click on that. And there are three different modes, edit modes here. Design, edit, and move. We'll talk about each of those. And then you can be in a regular uh, path tool mode or a polygonal path tool mode. So right now we'll just start out in regular path tool mode. And we just start by clicking. Well, we start by opening up a new file. <laughs> okay, well, why don't we just do a... Whatever here. All right, we'll go with 900 by 550. And we'll just do white background. Okay. And I uh, will shrink this box. Shrink the canvas size. And I'll uh, take it down, take it back up here. Okay. So to start out, we'll just click in three different spots here. Okay. And if you don't like where some are placed, you can just click on them and move them around. that. Okay, I'm going to bump this up. Uh, I'm going to go up to 100 there. Okay, these little uh, circles, they're called nodes. Okay. And you see how this one's clear and these are filled in on the ends? Well, you when you click on them, That'll change. That one will change. When you have one that's uh, open, I'll call this open and I'll call this closed or filled in and empty. But when one's uh, empty or clear, open, you can move that. You can move that around. And the ones that are solid or filled in, they stay right where they are. If you want to move two of them at the same time, you can click Shift and click on the one that's one of them that's filled, and now you can move both of those. And the node that's still solid will stay exactly where it is. And you can do that same here. Click Shift, close that one. And you can drag this one around now. Move that to wherever you would like. Okay. So those are how the nodes work. Now if you want to create a bend in the line, you just click on it. Start dragging it around. And as you do so, you see these two squares pop up. These squares are called handles. And you can click on them and drag them and extend them out. Take them around, loop them around however you like. Grab the other one, pull it back. Do whatever you like with that. If you don't want to use a handle, say you don't want to use this one right here, you can click on control shift and then click on the box on that handle and it will leave and disappear and now you're only using this one if you want to if you have a joining line like this one 
that's joined to this line and then a node and then another line and there's a handle in between them what you can do is press shift and then press on the handle and when you start to move it will take and it moves the other line in an equal movements and bends and curves and it has a handle on the opposite side that you can move around also so you move one at a time or you can press shift and click and move both at the same time okay now let's talk about polygonal so we'll go down here and click on polygonal and then we'll click on a space come back down here click control and click on that previous node with the path we had started and it will connect it to there and you can create more nodes and more lines and of course the nodes this one's open so we can move it around but what we cannot do is we cannot bend these lines that's the polygonal. Polygonals will stay straight or linear. Open that. Now we have our three top ones opened up. We can drag those around however we want. Bring them down like that. We can. Close this one. We can close this one. And we can just drag this one up a bit. And we can close that one. And open this one. And drag this one around. Do whatever we like there. Now this path we are creating, we go up here to our dialog box. This here symbol is the path dialog. And so right here is our path. Let's go into layers. And we're on our background layer right now. But let's create a new layer. Okay. And we're going to do transparent. You just click on OK. Go back over to the layers box or dialog box and then we'll click on the this channel here or this path. And we'll turn this eye on. Okay. Now what can we do with this path? One of the neat things we can do is we can go down and we can save this path and actually export it and keep it. So say we created a design we like or a path we like and we want to use in the future and other times, we can save it and then re-import it again some other time and use it again. We can also stroke this path. So we can give it like a solid color, or you can give it a pattern. Line width, you can adjust that. Let's take that up to 10. Line style, you have caps and joins. A cap would be for the ends. So it'll cap the end. And a join will be where two lines join. So where the nodes are in the middle of the path 
those are the joins and where the node is at the end that's where a cap will be and you can miter your joins and caps we'll just go with rounded caps here with a miter of 10 default value you can choose what type of lines you'd like dashes dots normal dots all kinds of different things dash dot dots do a whole more code if you want i guess <laughs> custom i've never done a custom but i guess you can create a custom sorry i'm not prepared on that one okay So we'll let's go ahead and we'll stroke our path. Let's pick a color. Let's color it red. We'll click stroke. Just that simple. We've now stroked the path. We'll click a different tool here just to get rid of the nodes. So you can see. And right here, this is still selected. So we can turn the eye off, and now we'll get rid of this green line on the inside. That's our path. So now we're left just like this. If we go back to our layers, and that new layer we created that was transparent, if we turn that off, we can see that is the layer that our newly selected stroked path is on. One thing we can do with that, we can do a right click, and we can go down to Alpha 2 Selection. That creates these dancing lines, or what people call marching ants also. And we can go over here, we can select a gradient. And we'll come over here to our gradients dialog. And we'll be on foreground and background. That's good. So we're on the right gradient. So now we'll pick a background color. How about a blue? Looks like a good blue. We'll just click OK. And our gradients from foreground to background. And it's in the shape of a linear. We can change that too, but we'll talk about that some other time if we haven't already. Now all you have to do is click down here and go up. You can press the control key if you want it to be a straight line. Or you can have it go diagonally like this, however you want your gradient to be. And then release. We'll go up here to select. Select none. And you can see here we've just done a gradient from red to blue along our stroked path there. Okay. We will talk about edit and move maybe in the next video. Let me see what we're doing on time here. Yes, the next video for sure. Okay, the next video will be on um, text along path. Okay.